hello everyone welcome back to a new video i realize it's been kind of a long time since my um most recent video which was like in the summertime school has been crazy um i was working during the summer and then now it is uh, winter break so i decided to make a video so today's kind of a kind of a bittersweet video i'm going to be doing a bullet journal flip through from this past year but unfortunately i ended up quitting bullet journaling this year so it's a incomplete flip through i guess um so i kind of decided to step away from bullet journaling and now i use a pre-made planner um, instead and that was mostly because i was running out of time on making these spreads and it just felt like a chore and i wasn't able to plan in advance as much as i would like to so now i'm just using this like really simple planner that i got um just like from walmart or something and I like it because it has a very similar format to how I formatted my bullet journal, except that I don't have to actually make the calendars, draw out all the days and stuff like that. And then if I still do want to add a little bit of decorating or stuff to it, um, I can with washi tape and markers. So I find that it is really perfect and I do not regret switching over. It is sad because um, in the back over there, I do have all my previous bullet journals um, and it's like really fun because they're like scrapbooks of my life at that time but I just can't really keep up with it right now and I'm not as passionate about it as I once was. I have other things that I'm really enjoying so I wanted to kind of step away from this and um, I can always go back if I want to but with saying that I still wanted to show you um, my entire bullet journal from last year so I ended up making, I think I ended up stopping, what month was that? In June so that was my last one so I filled up like maybe a third of my bullet journal there's still quite a few pages in here that are unused but I'll show you what I have and if you guys do want to watch me creating these um, I will link the playlist down below the incomplete playlist um, if you do want to see all my other bullet journal videos I have so many because like I said I have five other ones so those ones that gifts that's like five and a half years of themes so tons of content you guys can check that out if you like so Let's get started. All right, so the details for my bullet journal will be down in the description box if you guys are interested. Um, it's the same one that I've been using. This is the sixth one I purchased. It's the Lloyd Germ 1917 dotted A5 notebook. I think I have that memorized because I've been saying it for so many years. Um, but yeah, let's get started. So opening it up, I just have my name in the front over here, the sticker. Here is my cover page for 2023. This is um, with scrapbook paper. I think it's really cute. So I have goals on this side and then I have my favorites, which I never actually used. And this is just really funny. Um, here's my income tracker. <laughs> it looks really cute, but I ended up going to uh, digital for this because I think it works better because it can auto calculate and then I can compare it with my expenses. So I used to like really keep up with um, things like this in my past bullet journals and I used this for like five years, but um, I don't know. So that was literally it for the beginning of my bullet journal for the intro pages. So as you can see, we were already off to a rough start. Here's January. I did this with markers. I think it would have looked better with, with acrylic paint because the background's a little bit streaky. I don't know if that's coming out. Here's my calendar. I think these cardinals are really pretty. I did a line a day over here, habit tracker. Um, I think some of the weeks I was counting the books that I was reading during that time, which I always like looking back on um, to see what I was reading. But um, pretty much what I do for my weekly spreads is a place for every day of the week. And then I usually have a to-do list for the entire week, but then um, separate to-do list for each day that I make the night before. This one's cute with a little edge over here. Something a little bit different. I don't know what I was thinking for the background here. Um, maybe not the best decision. So that's January. Now we're on to February. I did this little chocolate box. This is scrapbook paper. I think it turned out really well. Here's the calendar. So all of these like little chocolates are separate pieces of scrapbook paper that I glued on. I think the color combo is really cute. And I had these stickers that I found and they were perfect for the theme, like the little bear. Um, they're pretty puffy, so they take up a little bit of space and a little, are a little bit more bulky, but 
I think they are really adorable for this theme. The hearts were super fun to cut out and use. So for March, I did this pastel theme. Um, I was really into like collage, I guess, in the beginning half of this year. So this is all scrapbook paper with like some twine around the center. So lots of like cutting and gluing. Here's the calendar. I feel like this um, March title doesn't really match the rest of the theme, in my opinion. Here we made a little Dutch door situation, which I didn't really use with line a day and weekly habits. And then I have a blank page here. I'm guessing it's because I accidentally skipped a page. This one's really pretty with the flowers on the bottom. This one is pretty simple. I feel like this was exam week or something or close to exams, but I didn't have a lot of time to make something super intricate, which is another reason why I was like kind of over, um, making all of my weekly spreads because it was just taking up so much time. I feel like this was the last like true um, bullet journal like feeling spread um, when I kind of stepped away and it felt like a chore to make the weekly spread. So this was the last week of school and I am like a big planner when it comes to school and then I kind of just like stopped planning because I was now working um, and I didn't need to make a to-do list. I just needed to actually go to work. So I think that's kind of why. So I have like so many different days or on here. So um, I think this is kind of where the downfall started. So here we have May with this little strawberry theme, which is just so cute. So yeah, I did <laughs> I did two weekly spreads in May. That's crazy. So I was barely really using my bullet journal during this time. And then here's June, which is actually the last month. Um, I did this avocado toast and avocado theme. So cute. I kind of experimented with using some like sewing techniques on here, which I think is really neat and different. Um, but yeah, I was working during this time kind of just fell apart from there and I actually don't have anything else left in this bullet journal at all which is like really sad um so yeah that is my 2023 bullet journal flip through so even though I am very nostalgic and I love looking back at all my bullet journals I don't think I will be returning to bullet journaling for 2024 I'm gonna stick with my pre-made planner over here it's great i love it um and it just feels like a little bit less weird to pull it out in public when my bullet journal kind of feels like an art piece or a scrapbook uh, this is just like a little bit more appropriate for a school in my opinion to like pull it out during classes but that's my personal opinion i still love bullet journaling and if you guys are still into bullet journaling that is amazing and i love that for you but i will just not be continuing so, so I will be coming out with some more Create This Book 2 videos because it's Christmas holiday, so it's back here actually. So stay tuned for those because my book is getting um, pretty, pretty full and we're nearing the end, hopefully. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. And I follow the signs You're looking like a one-way Gotta make the right choice Hope I make the right noise